Well, uh, first of all, just, I'm really excited to be here tonight. Uh, anytime I get a chance to talk about advocating on behalf of our kids in the community, I, I'm just honored for that that moment. I think Nipsey, uh, quite frankly, I, I, I'll be honest with you, at work, I didn't even know who Nipsey was initially. Uh, they started talking about Nipsey Hustle. I said, who's that? The kids had educated me on who When I began to read this story, oh, I was really proud to find out, find out that the young man was making a difference. And uh, the work that, that, that I uh, take on every day is, is gut-wrenching and, it's, and it's, it takes uh, tough skin. Let me say, it takes tough skin to, to work and understand the change and what has to happen. I started a program called Man the Block because, quite frankly, our kids were just getting beat up on the way home. Um, we were looking at the, the averages of, like, you know, percentages of kids not wanting, kids wanted to come to school, but then they were like, once I get there, I can't get home. Uh, because the, the people who create issues, they, they sleep in the morning, so I'm good at getting to school. It's just getting home that I'm having a big issue around. So, uh, we created Man of Black because what I recognize is that when there's more dark presence, um, there's a lot of positive things that can happen. One is that you're praising young people for doing the right thing, and they're excited to know that adults are out there saying congratulations, continue to do a good job, because let's be quite frank, every one of us needs a push every now and then to make sure that we can get through. The second thing is, is that that presence in the afternoon says that I got a safety net of people who are going to support me, so I don't have to worry about somebody jumping on me and, and beating me up and, and all that where I'm just trying to achieve my dream. And so I started Band of Block uh, where we can just have folks to just give them an hour of their time, just to stand out an hour of your time just to help boost and, and move uh, our students uh, positively. When we think about uh, fixing the hood, you know, I, I think people start overthinking it, right? It, they start thinking that you got to have all of this money, you got to have all of these resources. Well, really, the hood was fixed before just by people who were coming together with positive thoughts and positive mindsets to say that we can change, we can take a little and make it a lot just by uh, uh, bonding together. We forgot the premise. I know when I grew up, you could go, some mom would say, go next door and get an egg from Miss Such and Such House and go get a cup of sugar. None of that happens anymore because the community is broken and the community doesn't work together. And so part of what, what the work I know that has to happen and what's happening with the work that I do is that I'm working to bring the community together. All, 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 all um, facets, male and female, we need uh, young, we need students, we need older people, we need everybody that's involved with the work that's being done.